Well, they're gonna pull this out of the shop. We're done with it for now. However, we lack some of these U-bolts that hold the scrapers on. We've got one whole wing over there that we need to get some parts for and we also need to get a couple of new tires so they're gonna pull this out they're gonna pull the offset disc in and they're gonna run unsupervised for a little bit of a while here today sure you're gonna be able to run unsupervised today no no glasses cutting that bulb off that's not good the safety police are watching us we're going to get a poor rating for the day just because of that all right so we're going to show you what me and tim are going to be doing for five or six hours today anyways i need to replace this utility body here it's rusted out we've patched it in a couple of spots but it's just gotten to the point where it is beyond repair it's actually settled on this one side and there's not really much holding the box together here it's rusted out it ends up leaking water into our compartments from the other side but it's also leaking because there's no doors on it but it's kind of pulled apart here and whatever and i found a utility body on marketplace which i've never bought anything personally myself on marketplace so we're going to uh drive a couple of hours from here and we're going to look at a utility body to replace this one now this body here was on the truck when i bought this truck back in I think I bought this truck in 08 and only had like 42,000 miles on it, I think. And now it's got roughly 105 or 6,000. So we're going to see how our trip goes here. We've got the, util the Brymar trailer hooked to the farm truck here. We're taking some pallets with us because we're going to have to... Uh, set the toolbox part of the utility body in the front and the back on something to keep it from bending the side molding so hopefully that thing is as good in real life as it is in the pictures but this thing's shot it's rotted on the floors yeah the floors rotted out it's leaking from the other side it's this this here is you know what i was thinking of doing is just building a flatbed for this putting the welder on the flatbed and then just getting a couple of toolboxes to put on there and go with that but um i'd have a lot of time into screwing around and to be honest with you i think we're only we're only going to get about three or four more years out of this truck the rocker panels are rusted through and and it's about shot so we're gonna head on our way and uh yeah all right we are going by this auction yard here and we're gonna pull in here we're gonna look at a few things not really sure what yet but we're just gonna drive through what they have here and we're gonna see if there's anything that interests us we actually brought our roller bar rakes over here last year for their uh spring auction the 4455 right there looks like they've added on to this place since last year here there's actually a couple of um, manure tankers that we're going to take a glance at here. We'll just make a pass through the yard.
I don't know what year these are here, but they don't have the lift axles on them. They look to be about like maybe a 14 model. Ours green one's a 12. Yeah, it's definitely older than 16 because they they have the power pack here on the back. And that's not as handy as up in the fender there. Yeah, same with this one. It'd be interesting to see how much these go for. A load cart here. That must be a dry hill, I think. Blue is usually that. Newer pump, header cart. So we'll just make our rounds here, I guess. Make a quick loop through here. A 9200 over there. Oh, oil tanker that you could make into one. <laughs> Trailer. A couple more tankers there, milk tanker, oil tanker, converted into a manure tanker and then a hopper. There's a fertilizer unit right there. All set up with tanks and everything. Yeah, we don't have to go far. We might as well just take one of them boxes. Got a little crane on that one. Yeah. Coming to India time. Oh, and a Kubota skid steer there. Oh, there we go, Tim. 8640. brought an airway out here last year that one's probably a 25 or a 30 footer we had a 20 footer that we brought out here and a belt trailer there through that row and we can make our way out of here John Deere telehandler we had one of them we also had an 8300 at one time actually we had a couple of them 3420 that's the exact model that we had at one time good old James Way spreader there looks like it's got quite a few patches on her Planner, cone merger. What do we got here? Got a 7R, yeah, 7, ooh, 7200 with big rubber on it. <laughs> Bottom it down. Yeah, <laughs> must. <laughs> you got much power than we got. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. We got one of them cougars over there. Case International Baller, 332. Got some man lifts. 346 Baller. MX 210. And a grain truck. Brigadier. Skid steer wouldn't get over the side of that, would it? Oh, 
Well, we're gonna make a swing out, go out through there. Actually, I don't think we can get out through there, but let's make a swing through there. What they usually do is they run this stuff right through the building right there. Clean them up. And you can sit inside. Oh yeah, Olek. I sighed on it. Yeah. That'd be kind of interesting. Just to raise up your gate a little bit, a little B-model Mac. Oh, there you go. There's some work lights. Those would be handy. Yeah. Nice old Mac right there. Let's go out and look at that. That might be. That'd be a good one for. <laughs> this would make a nice silage truck right here. Actually, it looks like it's a road tractor. Oh, yeah. Nice little road tractor. It'd be kind of neat, neat, huh? <clears throat> I drove one of these. <laughs> Got your hand between the wheels. Yeah. That's the twin stack. This is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the unit right there. Got the same gate we got. They just. Yeah. Boy, And this Olek trailer here is an 09. It looks at the serial number and it's got a topper on it. I think this fence is electric here, Tim. I want to get close to it. It's got a patch in there. It's got different, different pins. Yeah, gate's all rusted out. Yeah, got the aluminum grain spout. It's with it. Yeah. yeah, all the own trash. Yeah, all our own trash and everything. Six sterling, seventy nine thousand miles. On it. Might be money ahead if you had something like that. Pack it in, probably go for <laughs> three weeks with it. That guy's it got out. the road sign topper on his. <laughs> Haul our own cattle, Tim. Yeah, get Tony that. Uh, <laughs> All right, we're kind of back around where we started from here. That's for fertilizer, seed, what that? Seed tender thing right there. Mm -hmm. That'd be handy. No, you make your life a lot easier. Oh, there's a beverage truck. <laughs>
There's an old loader right there, Tim, huh? Yeah. Forty-five eighty-six. That 4455 looks like it's a European model. Alright, we're back on the road again here now. Tim's actually doing the driving here, so I have a tendency to fall asleep every now and again, so <laughs> he said that he was driving, so I said, okay. Um, that auction is in four days. It's on Saturday. What would that be? March 5th? 6th? Today's the 1st. So. Today's the 1st, so it's this Saturday coming up. Thanks. Looks like they had some interesting pieces there. It was a seat tender type unit that looked like it would be a good unit to get. The manure tankers were decent, but um, it just, just all depends on how much they're going to go for. They're the older models. They got to be somewhere around like a 2012 or 14 vintage. Should have took the serial numbers down on them, but. We have about another hour and a half drive to where this utility body is. And hopefully it's as good as what the pictures were. Because I really don't want to waste my time here. But oh well. We'll be there when we get there, right? Yep, sir. Alright, here is the salt mines here, which we've seen these when we came out to visit with Hainsworth when we looked at that moss trailer. I don't know where the tunnel is, where it goes underground. But they're loading rail cars there. And I didn't get the camera turned on in time. <coughs> Maybe we'll visit that on the way back through. we got to do is just pick out one of them cabin chassis right there and put that utility body right on there those are 6500s 65s on the back and 5500s on the front cabin chassis Bingo. I don't know if I'd buy a Chevy or not you think the Chevys are any good <laughs> All right, so we're on our way back with this utility body. And uh, it was a decent buy. The guy that um, I bought it from was, he does like construction work. And his friend actually runs a custom chopping business right in Hornell, New York. I can't remember was, what his name was it was peter something or other but um i probably should have got the camera out but i don't like doing that kind of thing when um i'm on somebody else's property so uh he had a lot of trucks and and stuff like that that went along with his chopping custom chopping business so but we're probably, yeah, we're a little better than halfway home right now. And once we get back to the shop, we'll do a little walk around of this utility body. We originally thought we were just going to throw it right on the army truck, but we're going to, uh, we're going to paint it. It's not going to get any easier right now than it is at any other time. So we'll do a little walk around once we get back to the shop here.
All right, we're pulling into Empire Tractor here on our way back. We've got to pick up some parts, and they've still got that combine here from when we went and picked up that hammer mill. <laughs> so, Oxbow Merger is still here, too. So we've got some Oxbow parts that the guys called in that we're going to run in and grab quick. I just thought I would get the camera out quickly here and we'll just take a glance around and we'll turn it back on when we uh, when we pull out of here. All right, we're leaving the sea of red, yellow, and blue. That is, I'm pretty sure that is the combine. That was here when I stopped in and Checked the tires on the hammer mill when I came out this way and bought it. But, yeah. That grain drill's here, too. The only thing that I don't see here is that big articulated Ford T9 something. So, well, we'll head her on back to the shop, right? Deeper. We're kind of sneaking up on this guy here. Look at his utility body. He's got a torch reel uh, on each cotton. side. Two ox, three oxygen tanks on there and two acetylene. He's set up to do some work. You know that? That's a steel worker. Yeah. Torch reels on each side. Welder up front maybe? Or is that a fuel tank up front? like fuel oh, wow. there's a fuel tank we're, in the very front we're here at, at the <laughs> burn dairy gas station i don't know where this is what is this uh um, is seneca waterloo falls or? waterloo yeah. yeah probably waterloo waterloo they call it but yeah um we got to get some gas because this thing sucks it down a lot of money on a vehicle that expensive <laughs> Well, we are just coming through Auburn now. We have got to make a couple of stops. We're going to stop in at Main at Pinckney. We've got to get some parts for the Roll of Harrow. Instead of sending Tim out special <laughs> tomorrow to get the stuff, we might as well grab it while we're passing through. So we've got to stop at Main at Pinckney. That's just up here a couple of miles, and we're getting a little bit of snow here, so... Hopefully we can get home before the roads get slippery here. And then we've got to stop in uh, McLaughlin Tire as well. We've got to pick up two tires for the front of the 4020. And we've got to grab a couple of tires for the um, Roll of Harrow. So we'll uh, turn the camera back on once we pull in the main at Pinckney. They, they have some blue tractors there and some orange equipment and whatever. All right, I had to get some Roller Harrow parts in there at Main and Pinckney and they sell Ford New Holland equipment. <clears throat> We're just gonna take a glance at some of their stuff here. They have their uh, used equipment up here in this one side lot, which is on the side of the Lowe's Lowe's uh, home. Con, home Improvement Store. Oh, looks like they sell oh, Vermeer. There's a J. Lore Mixer, otherwise known as J. Lord. <laughs> no, it's a J. Lore. Oh, they got some. They got some Packer wheels there, Tim. Hmm. Packer wheel assemblies. I don't know. It looks like they had a different bearing on them than uh, Vermeer. They sell Vermeer. I don't know what the hell that. Those Packer wheels over there. They must go to a. I don't know what the heck that would be. Something uh, like a uh, unit to hook behind a disc or something. Hmm. Maybe it's the 
assembly like that that's for that unit there. Well, all right, we've got one more stop. And that is at McLaughlin Tire. No, oh, we got a big Ford. We can't shut the camera off yet. Big Ford four-wheel drive tract. I don't know what size that is. 8730. Well, that was... The sun was shining when we left, and now the snow is blowing pretty good across these fields here. We're only about a mile away from the farm or so, and this is Town Line Road, and uh, the wind's blowing right across here pretty good. It's just like winter again now, which I'm kind of glad to see the snow because we've got a lot of work left to do. And when the snow starts melting and the sun starts coming out, it gets me worried. It gets me worried that we're not going to be able to get all our stuff ready to go before it's time to go play in the dirt. What do you want to do with this? You know what we've got to unhook it so that you have the truck in the morning um, what if we unhook it right there yeah. all right so we just got back to the farm here and here is what this utility body looks like um, it's a metal utility body and we will we're gonna paint this I guess we weren't going to we were gonna just throw it on the truck but um, it's gonna be uh, the easiest to go ahead and paint it right now so it is in uh, decent shape here and uh, we might as well clean it up and throw some fresh paint on it so that is what it is now we'll go ahead and uh, run in the shop here and we'll see what the boys did while we were gone. I don't know if I can get this front compartment open or not. It's a nap hide uh, utility body and it, um, it's in pretty good shape. So. Just needs some paint is all. All right, we're just rolling into the shop here. We got off the road a little while ago with that utility body. When we left the shop here this morning, the boys were pulling that second roll of harrow out and they ended up backing in to the shop here, this Amco J44 offset disc. We're putting all new iron on this. This was all wore out. And we figured now is the time to replace the discs on it. Now this disc here, we use for tillage work. It is set on an aggressive angle. The, the front is angled almost on a 45 degree angle that way. And the back is angled the opposite way. We use this tool here on our stonier ground uh, where we don't want to bring up a lot of rocks and this does really well for uh, that type of ground we could use a slightly larger one but at the time when we had 8000 series tractors 8300s 8320s this was about all the tool we wanted to put behind one of them 8000 series tractors it actually pulls pretty hard just because of the aggressive angle that the discs have now it's a little later than what i wanted it to be we were going to throw green paint on this 4020 however uh, i think we're going to wait till tomorrow uh, jared's got everything covered up that we don't want green on the wheels the front hubs 
and the weights. Now, we thought we were going to put the wheels on this and uh, paint it that way, but I didn't get back here in time tonight, and we were just going to shoot it the way it is now. And um, if I was around here today, we could have put the wheels on it and um, then covered everything up. But I wanted to get that utility body narrowed down before um, before there wasn't one available. That was just a couple hours away here. And I figured I'd better grab a hold of it while I could. Now this merger, they're just about done uh, putting this back together. They've got one side of this head here to do and they've got some other odds and ends to do to this and then they're gonna pull this out and pull the other one in so this is where we're gonna leave off with you here and we will catch you at the next video kind of a different video running around on the roads here today but it is what it is so thanks for watching folks and the next video we'll be throwing green on this 4020 jared's got a bunch of parts to put into this seat he's got some stuff to order here yet and that is what things look like when they're 50 years old thanks for watching